My name is Megan Brennan, and I'm a junior here at Maryville University, and I study nursing. I went to a village called Namalonge. It's about an hour from Kampala, which is the capital of Uganda. I worked in a clinic. I worked with kids, and I worked with pregnant mothers. I gave a lot of vaccinations, which the kids weren't happy about. I examined the pregnant women, and then I tested for HIV. Now, I've never been outside of America at all. I knew it was, it was time for me to see something else and to experience something that really changes you. And this was the perfect thing. My favorite moment, without a doubt, for the whole trip was during a prenatal examination. Um, I was palpating the abdomen, and I was feeling for the position of the baby. And I thought I felt the head at the top, so I was like, well... That's weird. So I went back down and I felt the head again. And I was like, it clicked. And in a moment, I was like so excited for her. And so we told her that she was having twins and she was so excited. It's such an honor in Africa to have twins in Uganda. Um, and so it was a really, really special moment for all of us. A lot of what I studied at Maryville was used there. All of the, you know, the basic classes about anatomy and the drugs. All of my nursing classes really did apply the shots. I wouldn't have had any idea how to do that without my classes. Testing the patients for HIV really was a surreal experience because it's something you hear about, it's something you know is going to be there, but when you test a pregnant mother or you test a one-year-old child for HIV and it's positive, it really takes a minute to sink in that this, this is going to kill them. This baby had no choice, was born with this, and here I am to tell them. Yeah, it's really sad. There are a lot of small things that are so much different for me now, and there are a lot of big things that are so much different. A trip like this really puts the world in perspective, so, you know, if you're having a bad day, it's like, well, I'm still eating today. I still have water today. And then the small things, <laughs> you've never appreciated a toilet so much in your life than when you go to Africa, or ice, or our sinks. We flip a switch and we have so much water, and these people walk for miles to fill up these buckets and carry them back on their heads. So the fact that I had free education through high school, and that now I'm at a university where I have books, and I have great teachers, and it's really something I think everyone needs to to know or you know see because it really changes your life it does now look at this look at this way now you stay the arms have to stay like this you stay there <laughs>